Uh, as you, we said yesterday, and uh, partly this morning, uh, through other colleagues, uh, the continued harassment of opposition leaders, and this time around, even the members of parliament, whose offices enjoy certain courtesies uh, and privileges, um, thanks to the laws of the Republic of Zambia, under normal circumstances, you would not have a member of parliament arrested in the manner that Honorable Shakafusa was arrested. First of all, a member of parliament, by practice, is that if there is anything or they are suspected to have breached the law, a notice would be given to you know, the speaker to seek consent that that member would actually be detained. But because we have a president who has no regard of uh, any office or anyone in the Republic of Zambia, and I think he has uh, assumed an attitude of being a god himself, to a point where the things that he did not agree with when he was in opposition, he is actually now perpetuating them even to levels that nobody can even believe. A president that would be threatening everybody, threatening councillors, threatening mayors, threatening members of parliament, and is trying to give validation to his threats by harassing members like Honorable Shaka Fusu. Under normal circumstances, he should have already been released by now. He was arrested yesterday, spent a night in detention. After, you know, the processes at Central Police, what was expected was him to be accorded an opportunity to be released on bond, because that's what the law dictates. But he has been shifted to another police station and is detained. And we're just hearing now that there are instructions being, you know, meted out here, obviously from state house, on how he should be treated at the Kawata station. So this harassment here of our member will not be condoned. The only thing that the UPND are introducing is basically opposition beginning to use police stations as platform for having rallies. He's a provincial chairman for Lusaka province. As we speak now, Members in all the seven constituencies of uh, Lusaka district are actually working towards the Kawata police station. And we are ready to address them. <laughs> and that is what is going to begin to happen moving forward. Because it looks like instead of having no more operations of mobilizing the party, police stations will become conduits for us to mobilize the party. And since the members are beginning to suggest they will come to a police station to see their chairman, we have no choice but to allow them to do so because from yesterday up to now, nothing has happened. And we will be able to address them from here. So we are going to come here until he's released. If he's not released, as the members come, we will be addressing them. Has he met all the bond conditions? He has met all the bond, bond conditions. First of all, even before you talk about sureties, he is a member of parliament or fixed abode. That is enough reason for which he will be granted bond on his own, his, his own recognizance without any further conditions that you want to attach. This is a member of parliament representing the people of, of uh, Mandev. And actually Mandev is one of the biggest constituencies in terms of numbers. Where, where is he sitting there in those cells? Over 100,000 voters are seated with him in that cell. So Mr. Haka in the if he doesn't know, by locking up Mr. Shakafuswa, he has locked up the entire Mandevu in that cell. But let me not say much. We have President uh, Sean Temple here, and please allow him to make a comment. I think for us, uh, our major bone of contention is the manner in which uh, uh, the UPND administration are actually enforcing the law. When you look at this particular issue, first of all, I must mention that I'm from the cells. I went to see Honorable Shakafuswa, and he's in very high spirits, uh, which is good. But um, he explained to me that uh, early in the morning, around 8 hours, he was taken from cells to service headquarters. Remember, he was detained at Central Police. And at uh, service headquarters, 
they proceeded to do a one and question to him and after that they brought him here at Kawata police where they proceeded to effect an arrest so after they effected that arrest the sureties were laid two sureties those sureties are members of parliament and they've got their letters of introduction they've got their analysis they've got all the bond conditions but what the officers from service headquarters did is that they said they'll come back again if they really wanted to give Honorable Christopher Shakakusu a bond, why did they have to go back to uh, service headquarters and say we'll come back again to uh, process bond for him? So you can see there that there is a hidden agenda. And uh, there is a particular officer who is the arresting officer, uh, Detective Murithe. He's the one who is supposed to facilitate that particular bond to Honorable Shakakusu. And if the Detective Murife has a hidden agenda against Honorable Shakafuswa, he needs to tell us so that we can ask for another officer to start dealing with the matter. Otherwise, there's no reason why Honorable Shakafuswa needed to be bundled back into the cell after he was charged and arrested. There is no reason whatsoever other than harassment. And for us, we've always stated very clearly that there is a very clear distinction between law enforcement and harassment. If you want to enforce the law, if you want to arrest a suspect, it is a process of one hour you've arrested that suspect, you've charged them, and you've extended bonds to them, unless you want to harass them. And uh, what we want to challenge the Inspector General of Police on is that uh, if they don't want to give bond to Honorable Christopher Shakafusa, they need to take him to court. The Majesty's Court is just behind here. They can take him to court even this afternoon, and we are going to proceed to apply for bail from the Majesty. It's a simple process. So the worst thing that they can ever do is to detain him without extending bonds to him, without extending bail to him. That is totally unacceptable. It is unconstitutional. And even President Haga Inde Ichilema himself, when he was being sworn into office, he made it very clear he committed himself to the Zambian people that his government is not going to be detaining people without bond and without bail. But we see the exact opposite of what Haka Inde was saying when he was being sent in, which is totally regrettable. And even the arrest itself, when you look at the arrest of uh, Honorable Shakafuswa yesterday, he was arrested at a shopping mall in front of his children and his wife. And as if we speak even right now, his children some of whom are as young as six years old, are still traumatized to have seen their father being handcuffed and being bundled in a police vehicle. A person who is a member of parliament, why should you treat them like that? As if they've committed a felony, as if they've committed a serious offense, when what he is accused of committing is just a misdemeanor, it's a minor offense. Inciting violence in the penal code is a minor offense. It's a misdemeanor. It's something that you, you can get away uh, with an admission of guilty fine uh, of 55 quacha and you are released. It's a very minor offense. So for such a minor offense, why should Honorable Christopher Shakafuswa be detained from yesterday and up to now they are still deliberating from releasing him? There can be no other possible reason other than harassment of the opposition. So from our standpoint, President Haga Inde Ichirema has declared war on the opposition. He has declared war on the opposition and he has made it a mission of himself to ensure that he harasses any outspoken opposition leader, he harasses them and he rocks them up. But he can be rest assured that we are going to stand up to that. Yes. We are going to reciprocate his brutality with an appropriate response through the people of Zambia. He should be rest assured of that. Thank you. Thank you.